Welcome to part one of this special series, How to Taste Wine in Three Days. The Sicily Etna Gita Scolastica, day one of three. Join Stevie and her team of Vinitaly International Academy ambassadors as they explore some of the best wineries southern Italy has to offer. The Etna wineries they are exploring today will be Ivignieri Winery, Barone di Villa Grande Winery and Resort, and I Custodi delle Vigne dell'Etna. Listen in as Mark Millen, Italian wine ambassador and Italian wine podcast host, narrates, giving us his best impressions of their journey. Salvo Foti was was really essential because he is one of the pioneers of Etna and we were able to really gain a sense of how this region has reborn in, in a relatively short space of time, how vineyards terraced vineyards that had been worked for centuries but had been abandoned had been restored. We're finding a way to not just make wine but to restore an entire landscape, to restore the dry stone terraces, to plant the vines, to continue the plantation of old vines with the alberello at Neo. This is where the modern Etna wines were born. This came out of passion, out of belief, not just in a wine, but in maintaining a way for people to continue to live on the volcano, continue to create great things, and maintain a landscape, a way of life, and create wonderful wines. The wines at Salva Forti's winery, we tasted a white and it's really interesting because again we know of Caricante as this great white grapes of Italy that has this potential to age and has this richness and character. We really have been able to discover that both uh, at Ivineri, a really magnificent white wine and then of course moving on to the reds, the classic wines of Etna from Nerello Mascalese, sometimes with Nerello Capuccio, sometimes not, but wines that have grown on a volcanic, on the volcano with volcanic soil, wines that have richness yet elegance. So it's been a real masterclass in learning about the wines of Etna. completely different operation just down the road. One of the few wineries here that has a history going back to 1734, I think, and we met the 10th generation in the family who have been making wines for all of these years, going back hundreds of years. Wines that have evolved, but wines that also once were made on Etna, wines that were navigable wines, wines that could be taken down to be to the port at Riposto, wines that could be shipped to France to bolster more insipid wines in the time of Phylloxera. But today the family has recuperated those vineyards and are making making fine wines, whites, rosatos, sparkling, and of course the Etna Rosso, wines that uh, can be found uh, in markets around the world. So it was a great historic winery to visit. Luis Custodi uh, and met the owner Mario Paoluzzi and I think what I was most impressed with is at I Custodi was the enthusiasm and energy of Mario himself. Mario who is part of the Ivineri project, Mario who, who believes as much as Salvo Foti in the importance of reclaiming the landscape, of utilizing the dry stone terraces, repairing the terraces. That's as much an important part of the feature as the cultivation of the vines, again using only the alberello et neo. And so it's really a project that has great belief 
in the traditions that have existed here for centuries and yet it's also a very modern project a modern winery a beautiful winery and it's a, a great example of the belief in the area a belief in what the wines can do from this area and how they can be they can bring the message of Etna around the world Custodi was actually absolutely fascinating for me and for many other Via uh, ambassadors because we were able to taste a vertical of the Caricante, of the Etna Bianco. And that was actually really fascinating because Etna Bianco we more normally encounter when it's very young, when it has that high acidity, when we're told this is a wine that has a huge potential to age. And uh, by tasting the 2019, the 2016, the 2011, and the 2009, we were able to really follow that incredible evolution as the wine became much more aromatic. It began to reveal itself. The color was turning more golden, and we were getting the terpenes coming out in a more pronounced way. And we could really understand, even in the 2009, that the that backbone of acidity, which is the hallmark of of, of Caricante, that backbone of acidity makes wines that have immense potential for aging, white wines. Allora, questo qui è un carpaccio di manzo marinato a secco, quindi con sale e zucchero, con spinacino, lamponi e mandorle. Thank you for joining us on this first installment of this three-part special series, How to Taste Wine in Three Days, the Sicily Etna Gita Scolastica. Join Stevie and her team of In Italy International Academy ambassadors again next time for more Sicilian wine adventures. And remember, you can also find more wine content by visiting Italian Wine Podcast on SoundCloud or wherever you get your pods. Cin cin!